Hey everybody, this is Oliver, and I would like to show you a new content type for H5P that I've been working on lately in my free time. It's called Dictation, because, uh, well, that is the exercise that imitates. And let me just show you how it works. So up here we have some space for instructions, and of course you can enter your own, but um, I will follow those. And I'll click on the buttons down here, especially this one with the gauge maybe. But let's start with this one. The cake is a lie. Full stop. Okay, this one plays a sound sample with a sentence. And now let's head over to this one with the gauge. The cake is a lie. Full stop. Aha, this one plays the same sentence with a different speed. And now this one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Exclamation mark. Okay, this one plays a different sentence. And you can probably guess what this one does. Uh, so let's follow the instructions and type what we've heard, and I think I'll make some deliberate mistakes, so don't be confused. Okay, that's my answer, and now let's click on check over here. And it tells me I've made seven mistakes and that I should try again. Um, yeah, but I will not do that, I'll peek at the solution instead, so let's go over here. And now you see what the cotton type does. Um, it instantly shows you the correct words, which are marked in green, like here and here and here. Uh, and we can see some with a yellow background, like here, and some which have a, a red background. And well, what are those? This one is just a typo, so I wrote Coke instead of cake, which is, well, it's a typo, but it's still a mistake. And then we have some other ones. Um, well, let's just look like this one, which uh, is a real mistake. So I wrote lie within with a Y and that was I and E. So that's wrong. Um, like here, black and brown, also wrong. Then we have words that I totally added, which were not in a sentence at all, like and, so it's just stroked. And then we have some words that were missing, like over and um, the. So um, that's why it's marked in red. And of course I could retry uh, but I think you're more interested in the options, so let's have a look at those. So, let's see what we can do with this content type. Of course, you can enter your own instructions. Um, you've seen that. And you can have as many sentences as you like. So in this example, I had two. And each one can contain two sound samples. And I suggest that the first one is a sentence spoken in normal speed. And you can add a second one if you want to. And yeah, maybe you could use it for slow speed. That's like, like the app Duolingo uh, does it. And of course you have to enter the text because that's not detected automatically. Yeah, that's what you do. You can have a look at the second example. It looks the same. And then you have the typical overall feedback and the behavioral settings. So what can we do here? First of all, you can define uh, the maximum number of tries for each button. So let's do that maybe. Um, let's say uh, we can have two tries for the normal speed, but just one for the slow speed. Uh, you could also decide to ignore the punctuation, but I think it's important and I will not change that. But I mean this one here, um, you've seen that you can make typos and they will be detected and marked in yellow. And maybe those are mistakes, but not that important. So let's say we just... Um, give them 50% of a mistake. Um, yeah, and if we want to, we could set um, the number of mistakes um, that are the maximum uh, for passing or for mastering the content type. And of course you can enable retry and the solution button. And one more thing is maybe important here. Uh, I call it general feedback. And um, you have some placeholders here like matches with, with the um, Oh, how is it called? I don't know, with this little symbol here. Um, the add symbol, oh, the add symbol. Um, so add matches, uh, which become the number of matches that were correct. And like here, uh, we have add total, um, which uh, will be replaced by the number of mistakes that we've made. But um, we changed this one here, like two and one. Let's see what, what happens now. We can update. Okay, this is a different view, but it works as well. Um, now let's click on this one. The cake is 
a lie. Full stop. Okay, so now it ended and you see it's gray now and I can't click on it, so it won't play again. And we should be able to do that twice with this button here. is a lie. Full stop. Okay, once and one more time. The cake is a lie. Full stop. Now, this one is gray as well. Um, yeah. Right now, that's all the color type uh, can do. But maybe you have some suggestions, then please leave them in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like uh, this video if you liked it. And maybe even subscribe to my channel. That would be tremendous. Um, yeah. But anyway, um, I hope you like this color type and can try it out, of course, if you want to. Just download it from my website. I'll link it in the description. Um, yeah, there's nothing more to say. Take care. Bye-bye.